you don't want to put it on now, I can send it on to the stable. The viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I don't know if I've done this type of video before. If I've pointed it out, I may have in previous videos. But there is a way to get the best saddle in Red Dead Redemption 2 relatively early. And it's the Panther Trail Saddle. You just got to hunt a panther properly. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then you can bring the pelt to the trapper and get this saddle made. Again, it's the best saddle in Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's get on with hunting a panther properly. First, you come to this area on the map. And... Right here, you can hunt a deer. There will be a deer there. It doesn't matter whether it's a one star, two star, three star. You just got to shoot a deer. Now that you got the deer, don't skin it or do anything. Just pick it up, put it on the back of your horse, and bring it to where you're going to hunt the panther. Good haul today, girl. Yep. You just ride down the road just a little way. Your horse might be a little agitated, which could indicate the panther is nearby. You want to check things out. You want to put on some cover scent so that the panther can't smell you. But, again, you got to check. You want to make sure that the panther isn't already around. I've been attacked before doing this. And you want to use the bow and poison arrow. You move the deer to this location where Arthur's going to put it down. Again, I'm checking things out. I've been ambushed by the panther before. So Arthur's going to put the deer down in this area and then put some predator bait around and wait. Now the trap is set, Arthur hides by this rock and waits with the bow and a poison arrow. Mm -hmm. Find your own path. This one ain't for you.
problem with doing this so early in the game. I don't even know if it's a three-star panther or not. It's just a big cat. And now that Arthur's going to skin it, uh, we'll find out. Because you can, I mean, even if you don't get a three-star panther, you can still have the big game meat, which is important. Yep, perfect panther pelt. I can bring it back to the trapper. Again, even if you kill a one or two star panther, you get big game meat, which is the best meat that you flavor with um, mint, oregano, and thyme. And you can bring your um, stats up to gold. Again, I'm going to bring this to the trapper and get the uh, panther trail saddle made. I'm at the St. Denis Market, and we're going to walk over to the Trapper, sell him the perfect panther hide, and have the panther trail saddle made. Okay, let's take a look at it. Done. All made to measure. If you don't want to put it on now, I can send it on to the stable. For some reason, my horse's saddle was not replaced, so you have to go to the stable and get it put on the horse. Now that I'm at the stable, I can have the saddle put on my horse. Hello there. That horse doing all right? If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Hope some federal comes through. I ain't seen blood in a while. Sure ain't a man of much. This saddle alone will enhance your horse to a great deal. And it just makes complete sense to get it even early in the game. All you have to do is properly hunt a panther and go to the trapper, get it made, put on your get it put on your horse and your horse almost becomes superhuman or super horse anyway if you found this video informative and you like it hit the thumbs up button feel free to leave some comments if you like this type of video hit the subscribe button and bell icon i post video game related videos every day of the week sunday through saturday and you want to stay informed, you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.